This workflow is going to simulate pouring water. It's going to do that using tie flow with tie mesher. What tie mesher does is converts points into surfaces. So we can do this water simulation without using Phoenix FD. What we're going to do is start with a tie flow. I'm just going to create that icon here. And we also need a tie icon. So if I come across two helpers and choose tie flow from the drop down menu, I'm just going to add a tie icon here. And I want to create a round icon. It's going to be more fitting for something that water is emanating from. So if I press W to bring up the greeble, I'm just going to set that to zero on the X and Y axes, and then we'll bring it up so it just sits a little bit off center above this bottle here. Okay, now we can come back into the tie flow and open the editor, and we'll just start with a standard berth. I want about 4,000 particles. I might increase this later, and I want them all to be birthed by the 200th frame. Um, within time configuration here, I've set this workflow to go over, or this simulation to go over 300 frames. Now we want to just hit tab and I can search for a position icon. And that's going to allow us to specify where we want those particles to come from. So if I just push pick and I can choose the tie icon here, and you can see those particles have just shown up there. All right, we also want to add a force. So if I push tab again and search for force, that's going to act as gravity. So um, those particles are just going to fall down. And I can also set the strength to determine the force of that gravity. Okay, as you can see, those particles are just falling down there, um, but they're not interacting with the bottle. So the next thing we want to do is just add a collision, a standard collision operand. And within that, we can then pick the bottle. And if I run this simulation, we can see those particles are now interacting with the bottle. Okay, but they are still particles. So the next thing we want to do is add the tie mesher. So if I just come back into standard primitives, tie flow from the drop down menu, and choose tie mesher. And what we need to do now is just pick tie flow. Um, and you can see they're no, no longer showing up as particles, but they have a surface. Okay, so now is where we add a couple more operands to create a bit more of a water-like behavior. So next I'm going to add a particle bind. All right, within particle bind, we can toggle with a couple of these parameters, which is going to really manipulate how that water behaves. So if I set stiffness, I'm going to set that to 0.5, come down here and change breakable to 70%. And you can see that's changed the behavior somewhat of those particles. Um, as you can see though, it is just falling through. So we want to come back over here and within um, forces, I'm just going to choose deflectors and add a deflector. Drag that here and I'm just going to set that to zero, zero. And we need to specify that as a collision as well. So that then the particles interact with that and are bouncing off. We can just test that that is the case. Okay, good. All right, now the final thing we're going to do is just toggle with a couple of the settings in the time measure. So if we come under the modify panel of time measure, we can come down and we can change the radius. Um, as well as the voxel size, so the resolution. I change that to 0.5. That's going to change how those um, particles are being viewed because we want to create as much of a water like appearance as possible. Okay. Now, the one thing which this is missing at the moment is how those droplets interact with the bottle. As you can see, they're kind of just bouncing off it a little bit. So if I come back over here, I'm just going to add one more operand, and that's a surface force. Um, and surface force is going to allow a bit more viscosity with how they stick to the bottle. So if I just run that simulation, um, well, they're not doing it for the minute. We actually need to pick the bottle. 
and then we'll run that simulation and you can see that water's got a lot more viscosity and if we come down we can toggle with that force um, bringing it higher means they're going to be far more sticky bringing it lower means they're going to be a bit more fluid as they come around that bottle what i'm going to do next is add some materials lights to this